Independent Samples T-Test Using the Microsoft Excel Analysis Tool Pack Normality, Independence, and Homogeneity of Variances of the Samples Assumption of Unequal Variance Assumption of Equal Variance the Independent Samples T-Test is a statistical analysis method used to test the null hypothesis that the means of two independent groups are equal. This guide teaches you how to perform a T-Test with the use of the Excel Analysis Tool Pack. Here are the assumptions for the Independent Samples T-Test. Assumption of Independence Assumption of normality, variable is normally distributed. And assumption of homogeneity of variance, which uses the F-test 2 sample for variances, to determine if variances are equal. This test is actually similar to Levine's test for equality of variances. For our specific example, we will use the data from work hours of 6 male workers, and 5 female workers. In this case, here is the null hypothesis, stating that the means of both are equal. While the alternate hypothesis, says that they are not equal. To perform a t-test on the two samples, we must first perform an f-test, to determine if the variances of the two populations are equal. In these case, the f-test result indicated that the variances are not equal. This means, we have to use the t-test for two samples assuming unequal variances. To conduct the t-test, make sure the analysis tool pack is activated in your system. To load the analysis tool pack add-in, execute the following steps. On the file tab, click options. Under the add-ins menu, look below the inactive applications add-ins. Select Analysis Tool Pack and click on the Go button. Then click OK button. When this dialog box appear, make sure to check Analysis Tool Pack tick box and click on OK. Now that the tool pack has been added, you may click on the data tab menu. Then in the analysis group found in the far right side of the menu, you can now click on data analysis tab. After selecting the data analysis tab, the following dialog box below appears. From the choices of different analysis tools, select the T-Test 2 sample assuming unequal variances. Then click OK. Let us input the data for work hours of the 6 male workers. To do this, click in the variable 1 range box. And select the range cells from A2 to A7. Also, input the data for work hours of the five female workers. To do this, click in the variable 2 range box. And select the range cells from B2 to B6. Then, click in the hypothesized mean difference box. And type 0. Next, click the Output Range Option button, then click in the Output Range box, and select cell E1. 
This provides the location placement of the resulting output. And then click OK. Check out the chart output results for the t-test 2 sample assuming unequal variances. Here, we are provided the mean, and variances, for both variables. Also, there are results for the t-value, t-critical, and p-value. The decision rule is, if t-stat is greater than t-critical, we reject the null hypothesis. Since, 0.537 is less than 2.365, therefore, we do not reject the null hypothesis. This means, the observed difference between the sample means, 26.67 and 24.6, is not convincing enough to say that the average number of working hours between male and female workers differ. We can conclude, that the means of the two populations do not differ significantly. Let's have another example. In this case, we will use the data from the output of the junior and senior executives. Again, the null hypothesis here states that the means of both are equal, while the alternate hypothesis says that they are not equal. To perform the t-test on the two samples, we must first perform an f-test to determine if the variances of the two populations are equal. In these case, the f-test result indicated that the variances are equal. This means, we have to use the t-test for two samples assuming equal variances. Again to perform t-test, execute the same steps as the previous example. On the data tab, in the analysis group, you can now click on data analysis. After selecting the data analysis tab, the following dialog box below appears. From the choices of different analysis tools, select the t-test 2 sample assuming equal variances. Then click OK. Pull. Let us input the data for the five outputs from the junior executives group. To do this, click in the variable 1 range box, and select the range cells A2 to A6. Next, let us input the data for the five outputs of the senior executives group. To do this, click in the variable 2 range box, and select the range cells B2 to B6. Then, click in the hypothesized mean difference box, and type 0. Then, click the Output Range Option button. Next, click in the Output Range box, and select cell E1. This is where the output will be shown. Then, click OK. Check out the chart output results for the t-test 2 sample assuming equal variances. Here, we are provided the mean, and variances, for both variables. Also, there are results for the t-value, t-critical, and p-value. The decision rule is, if t-stat is greater than t-critical, we reject the null hypothesis. Take note, we should treat negative values as their positive counterpart. Thus, if the absolute t-stat is greater than the critical t-value of reference, we must reject the null hypothesis. 
In this case, since 2.816 is greater than 2.306, therefore, we reject the null hypothesis. The observed difference between the sample means, 25.8 and 32.8, is convincing enough to say, that the means of data from control setup and experimental setup differ significantly. Another method is determining whether the p-value, is less than 0.05, which is alpha value. If this is the case, then one must reject the null hypothesis. This is the case, since 0.023 is less than 0.05. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis. This states that the means of the two populations differ significantly. In summary, we discussed how to use the Excel Analysis Toolpack to conduct the t-test 2 sample assuming unequal variance, and the t-test 2 sample assuming equal variance. Please check out other videos from this channel on how to use the Analysis Toolpack. The F-Test the ANOVA Correlation Regression And many more